If you want to be wrong, follow the masses. Socrates. How to get ahead of 99% of people has been trending on YouTube for the past year. Unfortunately, a lot of the videos that are on YouTube are just regurgitated chat GPT responses. They all focus on execution rather than direction and why. Yet 99% of people don't have direction. Direction is what will set you apart, not execution. Anyone can wake up at five in the morning and go to the gym because, you know, self-improvement. Direction, a, a course along which something or someone moves, is made up of three pillars. These are a fundamental part of every successful person's journey. Dan Ko made a video on this topic which was incredibly in-depth. He talks about using something called an anti-vision. This is something that scares you so much it sparks you into action towards a positive outcome. Mark Manson, uh, the author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, talks about having a contrarian idea. For lack of a better term, it's having a vision that is so outlandish and out there, people think you're naive and silly for having such a vision. The first pillar is having a vision. Where there is no vision, there is no hope. George Washington Carver, one of the greatest agricultural inventors to have ever walked the face of this planet. When you speak to your friends, how many of them can accurately tell you what they want in life? Where they want to live? What type of job do they want? How do they want to lead their lives? Whilst it's often hard to think about life's big questions, the unfortunate truth is a lot of people struggle with answering them. They then often find themselves drifting through life like a plastic bag. If you truly want to get ahead of 99% of people, you have to start thinking differently. There are two ways in which you can do this. They both lead to the same outcome. You can adopt Dan Coe's methodology of figuring out what your anti-vision is, or you can do it from a more positive aspect, which is looking at what your vision could actually be. Nevertheless, the process is the same. Ask yourself the following questions. The last one is probably the most impactful question you can ask yourself. What do you not want to look like? What do you want to look like? What do you not want your future to be? What do you want your future to be? What do you not want your relationships to be like? What do you want your relationships to be like? And the last one, my favorite, is sitting on your deathbed. What do you not want to be feeling? And what do you want to be feeling? If you're going to do anything today, switch YouTube off after this video. Sit with these questions, write them down on a piece of paper, and brainstorm your answers to them. It will give you a clear and accurate description of what you want in life, and more importantly, what you don't want in life. Doing this activity alone will put you head and shoulders above the vast majority of people. I promise you, once you do this, you'll start making more positive changes in your life. Once you understand your vision, you'll start to operate with that front and foremost in your mind. The decisions you make will be shaped by that vision that you have. Everything from the area in which you live in, to the businesses you may start, to the jobs you may take, all revolve and center around that vision. However, having a vision is only one part of getting ahead of 99% of people. The second pillar is execution, or as I like to call it, the art of execution. The magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding to do. This quote has been in the rounds on social media for the past year. Winston Churchill won World War II sitting in a bathtub drinking whiskey. Elon Musk has risen to become one of the wealthiest people on the planet, but he sleeps on the factory floor. Warren Buffett eats McDonald's every single day and he is heralded as one of the greatest of all time when it comes to investing. And we often fall into this trap of watching videos around execution and we do sort of like mental masturbation watching these videos on productivity. But the truth of it is you don't actually need to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to go to the gym. You don't need to journal every day. You don't need to read hundreds of self-help books. You don't need to listen to that podcast. You don't need to be super competitive. You don't even need to watch this video. You just need to understand there are no shortcuts or hidden gems. There's no secret productivity model. You just need to do the thing that will propel you to get to that end destination in mind. That's it. Stop looking for hidden tricks. There's just no substitute for hard work. To be better than the 99% of people, you have to be willing to do work the 99% of people are, are unwilling to do. Most people work a job they hate to spend money with people they don't like to drink alcohol they don't want. There's no point of having a vision and the want to execute if you don't have focus. The third pillar is focus. Focus and simplicity. Once you get there, you can move mountains. Steve Jobs. However, once you nail down your vision, the ability to focus is easy. You don't need month mode. You don't need to hack your work environment. You don't need time blocks. Although there's often help you maintain focus when you're doing activities you don't want to do. If your vision is compelling enough, 
None of these things should actually make a shred of difference. That's why having both a vision and anti-vision is so important because it will give you the focus you need. You'll be driven away from distractions because you know where a life of distraction will lead you. So once you nail down that vision and anti-vision, every time you see or feel yourself getting distracted, just go back to it, read it again. While being better than 99% of the population is great, you need to adopt the right mindset. The real improvements come from you being 1% better than you were yesterday. That will often involve a lot of hard work. If you wanna learn how to do hard work consistently, Click this video here to learn how I do it.